Tropical forests are essential for life on Earth. They function as a green lung and capture carbon. They are very rich in biodiversity, are an important part of the global water cycle, and contain important raw materials, most of all timber. However, for many years, tropical rainforests have been disappearing bit by bit, acre by acre. This forest destruction has to be stopped, despite an increasing demand for timber, palm oil, and meat for a rapidly growing world population. How can we manage this? It's revealed in Using Tropical Forests Sustainably, Simply Explained. To protect forests, the entire system has to be considered. Plants, animals, and humans. Countries, as owners of rainforests and the people who live there, are dependent on these forests for their economic livelihood. Thus, they will use it. That's why it is important to demonstrate that sustainable forest management in the mid to long term is more profitable for companies, forest users, and the state than forest destruction and conversion to other land uses. But how can sustainable forest management be achieved? Environmental NGOs, the private sector, and social and indigenous groups have developed standards for sustainable forest management. These standards include 1. Clearing of intact rainforests is prohibited. 2. In order to maintain forests, they are only to be used in accordance with a sustainable management plan. 3. Sensitive forest areas are to be preserved. 4. The rights of indigenous groups are to be protected. And 5. Workers are assured of fair working conditions. Compliance with these standards is monitored annually by independent auditors in those forests, as well as in the process and supply chain. If the standards are met, the forest enterprise or the company in the supply chain is rewarded with a sustainability certificate and a label. The leading labels globally are the Forest Stewardship Council, FSC, and the Program for the Endorsement of Forest Certification, PEFC. Their credibility and market demand are vital to the label's success. And since you cannot otherwise ascertain if the wood comes from sustainably managed forests, these labels are put on products that you can buy in stores. More and more companies and public administrations, like those in Germany, are committing themselves to only procure certified sustainable timber products. With a certified and labeled wooden product from the tropics, you instantly know that biodiversity has been protected, that the workers get fair wages and better working conditions, and that the certified forest is being preserved. So, what can I do as a consumer? Not buying products made of tropical timber neither helps preserve the forest nor does it help the local people. When buying a tropical timber product, make sure it carries an acknowledged label, because this label makes sustainable forest use visible. The label allows examination and tracing, even across national borders, back to the certified forests. Market-based standards with high social acceptance create incentives for sustainable forest management. They support national legality and assurance systems against the illegal trade of timber. They also contribute to climate protection, sustainable procurement, a sustainable wood energy supply, and sustainable construction materials for buildings. Utilizing certified timber products from the tropics help preserve rainforests, and they protect against destructive exploitation and deforestation. The German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development supports forest certification in order to support the shift from exploitive practices towards sustainable forest management and value chains. <laughs>